Hi, in this video I'd like to introduce PH485EX1 and tell you how you can use this product. This product is RS485 and RS422 serial port to the network converter. As a terminal server and client, this converter is a simple solution to connect devices with RS485 and RS422 serial port to the network through Ethernet which uses transparent communicate protocol. So it is not required to understand complex Ethernet TCP IP protocol. This converter can work as TCP server, TCP client, UDP server, and UDP client in full duplex and fully bidirectional. Some of the important features of this product that categorized it in industrial class is the protection against electrical shocks and electromagnetic noises. It also has 3 kV optical and electrical insulation which has a great effect on eliminating noises like electromagnetic noise which are coming from contacts changing in electromotors or ESD voltages such as surge or lightning. This is the product packaging. I open it. The content is including a PH485EX1 that I take out of the plastic cover. In one side, it has an Ethernet port with RJ45 connector. It also includes power port with an adapter jack. Note that this device can work with any DC voltage from 8 to 48 volts, so you can use any available DC industrial power supply in your project, for example 24 volts DC. At the other side, it has RS485 and RS422 ports with 9 pin DB9 male connector. On this converter, RS422 is located on pin 1 to 5 and RS485 on pins 6 to 9. According to this table, data minus signal is on pin number 7, data plus signal is on pin number 8, and GND is on pin number 9. This device also has the capability to install directly on the DIN rail. Furthermore, we have a quick start guide, a 12 volt AC to DC voltage adapter, and a CD which includes the user guide and datasheet. In this section, we will learn how the converter works. This device supports all RS485 network topologies such as point-to-point -point and multipoint. It also supports point-to-point -point and multi-drop in RS422 mode. This converter can generally be used in two modes, terminal server and terminal client. Also, the device can be used in the network individually as a point-to-point -point or peer-to-peer -peer connection in which two converters, client and server, are used. The diagram shows how to use the device individually in the network. This converter can be used in server or client mode. Connect the converter from the RS485 side to any device which has RS485 and connect it to the network switch through a network cable with RJ45 connector. On the other side, your software will be placed on a PC or laptop in client or server mode. If the converter is a server mode, your software should be connected to it in client mode. And if the converter is in the client mode, your software should be connected to it in server mode. Another way is to use the converter for point-to-point -point or peer-to-peer -peer connection which is used when you want to connect devices with RS485 ports through the network. In this case, two converters are used, one in server mode and another in client mode, each of which has its own unique IP address in the network. Also, in the client settings, we should introduce the server IP address to it. I will use the terminal server method to show how the converter works. First, connect the power adapter of the converter. You can see that all lights are blinking together for three times. The green power light, which indicates the suit condition of the power supply, stays on. And TCP light remains blinking. Blinking of the light in certain mode indicate that this device is set for a special mode such as UDP or TCP server. 
and it is trying to communicate in that mode. By default, the device is in the TCP server mode, so the TCP server light is blinking. Connect the network cable and finally connect the RS485 ports to the computer. Before doing anything, we need to make sure the network connection are correct. For this purpose, we use ping test. Type the cmd command in the windows start menu. Go to the command prompt and enter the ping command. If you see that the response packets are received from the device correctly, then the connection with the network is ok. If you didn't receive correct response in the ping test, you can't continue working with the device. Didn't receive response could be related to the network settings of the converter or the computer. For example, the subnet mask of the computer and the converter doesn't match. Also, the activation of the computer's firewall can cause no response from the ping test. Finally, if you didn't receive a response, it is better to consult with your network administrator. After the ping test, to configure the device settings, enter the IP address of the device in a web browser such as Google Chrome. The default IP address of the device is 192.168.1.100. Enter the settings with the admin username and password. In the device information section, you can see the required information about the device, such as device name, IP, MAC address, etc. In the security section, you can change your username and password. In the network section, you can change the network settings such as IP address, subnet mask, gateway, etc. In the port settings section, you can change port settings such as boot rate, data length, parity, as well as LAN settings such as TCP client server and UDP in this section. You can see our 4D5 pinout on the last page. To work with the converter, you can use serial port test software such as HyperTerminal. Here I use Hercules software. A copy of it is in the product CD in the utility folder. And also you can download it from this address. Open Hercules software. Go to the TCP client section and enter the IP address of the converter 192.168.1.100. Enter the port 9761 as you saw in the settings section. Click on the connect button and the device connects successfully. When the connection is established correctly, the green TCP light on the converter will change from blinking to a steady state. Open another Hercules, go to the serial section and in this section select COM number 7 and you will see that the other settings are in the default state. The default settings are boot rate 9600 bits per second, data width 8, parity none, handshaking off. Click on the open button and the settings for the R485 port done successfully. Now in the serial sending Hercules section, type any data that you want. See that you received the same data in TCP client Hercules and see when I send data from the Hercules that is connected to the serial, a yellow light or RX which indicates received is blinking. This data is bidirectional and when you send data from the Hercules that is connected to the TCP client, you receive the same data into the serial Hercules. And again you see when I send data from the Hercules that is connected to the TCP client, the blue light or TX which indicates transmission is blinking. The red light or PE turns on when the device detects an error. The point that I want to make at the end 
is that if you forget the IP address of the device, connect the RS-485 port to the computer using a standard cable and open a terminal software such as Hyperterminal or Hercules with the parameters 96008 and 1. Then turn on the device. The device will automatically display its last set IP address. If needed, you can return the device settings to the factory state. Finally, feel free to contact us via email support at ipelectronics.com or WhatsApp number and ask your technical questions. Thank you for watching this video.